to see yourself, including how did you start studying the convergence technology of body and machine? Uh, I was uh, I was a terrible student in middle school and high school. Because um, my focus in life was to be the best mountain climber in the world. And then mountain climbing, I got I suffered frostbite, and my biological legs had to be removed. And I got I was fitted with technology that didn't work very well. It just had no muscle-like movement. It had no intelligence to it. And I, I dedicated my life to building better systems, for, not only for myself, but for others. Any um, had, had a presentation based on Human 2.0. Um, new minds, new bodies, and new identities. An international conference on industry conference two two thousand and twelve. Um, so, could you please make a long and valuable story short? Just long. here at conference, could you please make it short. Oh, just yeah. Summarize. Yeah. So, so many of the interesting questions and answers to questions are at the intersection between. Uh, traditional disciplines. Mm -hmm. So a type of convergence is blending all the disciplines together. And from that convergence, mm -hmm. we think of incredibly novel solutions to societal problems. And that was the basis of my talk today, uh, specifically describing the field of bodies. Mount Media Lab is at the center of the world by creating new future technology. So what kind of technology do you focus on these days? So my lab fundamentally develops interfaces between humans and machines. Mm -hmm. So there's three types of interfaces. One is dynamic, building machines that move like our limbs, our bodies. The second is how do you attach those machines to the body? So it's comfortable and healthy. A third is, how do you communicate electrically between the human body and the machines that attach to the body and from the machines to the human body? So electrical interfaces for the advancement of drawing and plants. So those three areas is what my lab at MIT, uh, we focus on in terms of design. Thank you. Um, this is the last question. Um, could you please tell me what is the future direction of technology for humanity? I, I, I view our, the current technologies, um, there's many examples of how current technology is crude. And it's, it's crude and it's limited in its functionality because as designers we failed to embed fundamentally who we are into our technology. Technology is too different from us. And in the future, we're going to build technologies that more is more like us, that, that accentuates who we are as humans, that celebrates where we grow as humans instead of decay. So in that future world, the television would never be designed. Because television, you sit idly and you watch and the body degrades, the mind shuts off. But it's not accentuating who we are, it's decaying who we are. So that collaborative uh, relationship between humans and technologies that we need to create, I believe, is the future. Thank you. Thank you.